What's up, y'all? It is Nappy Food all up on your screen, and today is a Nappy Foolery video. I want to fool around with using a fabric steamer. Yes, this thing right here. Hey, how you doing? How you feeling? I want to use this on my hair. Yeah, I know this is labeled as a fabric steamer, but can it get the job done on my hair? We're gonna see. Nappy Food checking in. Lego. <laughs> y'all so as you know i am nappy food and you are on nappy food tv thank you for coming back team kinks for another video what what was that you don't know what team kinks is and that means you are not part of the crew why it's okay it's okay it's an easy fix if you find yourself enjoying today's video just click subscribe and the notification bell so you are notified when i'm all up on your screen again okay team kinks we get down i don't want you missing the fun i'm just i'm just saying it will be a tragedy. Tragedy. For those that are new to Team Kink, Snappy Foolery is a series I started a while ago in which I'm pretty much just fooling around with stuff that either I'm curious about or I want to get better at, like makeup and doing my eyebrows at home. Stuff like that. Today, I'm just kind of curious on using a fabric steamer to steam my hair. I mean, at the end of the day, steam is steam, right? I hope this works well because this little steamer, which is travel size friendly, only cost me $15. So this would be a win, okay? Of course, in true nappy food form, I have to be in a face mask. <laughs> anyway, so as you can see, this tired bun needs some help. The goal today is to restore some type of moisturization, some type of movement to my hair. It's very stiff and I know it's because it's dehydrated. But today I can't do a wash day or anything like that. I just wanna re-moisturize it and have the moisture go in a bit deeper. All right, so we wanna start off with that section. This is the container, okay? I'm gonna put some water into it. It's just, you know, regular water. Put it right there, fill it up to the maximum line, okay? And put my top. And the next thing I'm gonna do is press that little red button right there, turning it on and give it some time to go ahead and start steaming up. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> All right, so let's get this hair steamed up. I'm not sure why I started off with the paddle brush. I thought maybe it would help me in holding my hair taut, but my fingers did the job, so I ended up releasing that brush. But yeah, I'm getting the steam into there, and so far it's feeling like a regular hair steamer. I'm gonna go ahead and put on one of my fav put use one of my favorite moisturizing creams from Camille Rose, the Care Love. The smell is great, and the effect that it has on my hair is awesome and now that my hair has been steamed and in the cuticles are just accepting this cream in it feels great now you're gonna see me switch it up a little bit I'm gonna actually see this stiffness is why we are exactly doing what we're doing right now okay well look, uh, uh, look how it just stands out of tension Chai. no flexibility no nothing it's just there anyway but yep 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 that's just one of the characteristics of that kinky hair life that nap life yes it is it is what it is and I accept it, okay? So yeah, I don't know. I was in Marshalls, y'all, and I just happened to see this fabric steamer and I knew my hair was feeling was feeling a little scorched, okay? A little parched, okay? Saw this cute little fabric steamer at Marshalls and I was just like, <laughs> I think I'm feeling nappy foolery vibe right now. So yeah, I have to say, y'all, steam is steam. I don't see any reason why one would not use a fabric steamer. After I did this video, I actually went ahead and looked it up because before doing this video, I didn't look up anything. I just used it. And then afterwards, I looked up to see if this is something that people do. And lo and behold, I did find some blogs and some articles about other naturals who use a fabric steamer. And they use these small ones because it's easy to travel with. So I was like, oh, okay, great minds think alike. Yes, indeed, okay. <laughs> Hair steaming is definitely not something you want to do every day, but I do think it's a good technique, especially if you have low porosity and you really need your moisture, your hydration, just go up to another level. Hair steaming is an option, um, but again, you want to be cautious how much you do it. Check out my description box, y'all. I actually have a full video about steaming your hair. How often should you do it, the risks that are involved, and so on. So make sure you click on the description box for that link or click on the letter I at the top right-hand corner. For that video and many other okay so I think I kind of y'all got the concept of how I'm doing my hair let's go ahead and move on all right so I have all sections done I'm gonna undo it now to throw on my butter you know sealing all that goodness all the hydration moisturization I'm gonna go over my hair one more time with the steamer just you know let that oil let the butter sink in a little bit more and now what I'm gonna do is actually take this a step further, yeah. Besides using a fabric steamer on my hair, I'm gonna use something else that I don't use often, but I do plan to use a lot more. 
Okay, so now let's take this down. And what I'm gonna do, oh, it feels great, is something else that's kinda new is for me are these right here. So I'm at Walmart, decide I'm gonna give it a try. I am going to use these tonight. I'm just gonna roll it. Actually, I wanna, I'm gonna start from the ends. I'm gonna roll it here and boom, 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 boom. Not sure how this will come out, but we'll see what happens. Um, Let me correct myself real quick. I'm not sure how this will turn out. I have said come out. I don't know why sometimes bad English comes out of my mouth. I mean, you wouldn't think, I, I mean, the way I speak, you wouldn't know that I have about five degrees. I know, I really just have two. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, I don't know why I don't use um, flexi rods often. I mean, it definitely is a great option. I think it's because initially on wash day, I need to have my hair out and free to air dry. Otherwise, if I style it immediately, it will take forever to dry. Anyway, let me get my tie self to sleep and let's go ahead and check this out the next day. I allowed it to set overnight and those rods were super easy to sleep in. So yes, I will incorporate it a lot more. I'm tired. It's about 5 a.m. in the morning, y'all, and I'm recording. I have never recorded this early before. And you know what? I don't I don't really mind it. I don't mind it at all because I really am trying to work on becoming an early riser. Um, on a regular day when I'm off, I will wake up by 8.30, 9 o'clock. If I can get up by 5, 5.30 on a regular basis, that will be awesome. You get a lot more stuff done. Anyway, my hair is feeling really soft, y'all, as you can tell from my facial expression. I can tell that steam definitely allowed all the creams and butters I use to hit that hair, hit that fussy hair like it's needed. So yeah, I'm really liking what is um, how my hair is feeling right now, pretty much. So I'm gonna fluff it out and you know make it look all ooh ooh va va voom and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of volume going on. Definitely no definition, as you can see, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I didn't do a braid out. I didn't do a twist out or a flat twist out or anything like that. So a defined pattern or shape, like a, like like you know a twist out and braid out would give you. I didn't expect it, but I got stretched and, <laughs> and that's what I'm looking for. She cute though, okay? Anyway, I'm not gonna leave it down, y'all. I'm gonna put this sucker up. I don't normally wear my hair down during the week. Sometimes I'm gonna wear it down on the weekend, okay? I wanna get my ends off of my collar and put it up into this cute little hairstyle that I actually rock quite often. I think it's really easy to do. Gives me like a faux taper type of look and I loves it. Now, as far as these eyebrows go, yes, I know, girl, I know, I know, okay? I'm letting my eyebrows grow out and I'm just kind of letting it do what it do. All right, y'all, so this is the ending product. I hope y'all liked today's video. As I said, I normally try to wear my hair up and give a little something, something in the front, you know what I'm saying? This is in the back, party in the front. I don't know. As far as hair steaming goes, it definitely takes that moisture to another level. The caveat to that is that, you know, professionals do say not to steam too often because it is a form of heat. So one thing I would say about steaming my hair is that it gives me more of a stretch than just simply twisting my hair and leaving it like that. It gives me more of a stretch than braiding my hair, okay? The other method that gives me a lot of stretch is African threading, but that takes a little while and sometimes time is just not on your side, okay? And now this brings us to today's Snapchat question. I wanna know from you two things. What is your favorite stretch method that gives you the ultimate stretch? Is it flexi rods? Is it curl formers? Let your girl know. Question number two, are you a are you a heat user? Do you blow dry your hair often? Do you flat iron sometimes? Are you a steamer? Let me know what your regimen is and how often you do it. Trust me, your answer will help another natural out. Okay, kinks, thanks in advance. hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please go ahead and help your girl out by hitting that subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell right next to it so you can be notified the next time that I am all up on your screen also if you're bored during the week come on and hang out with me on Instagram snapchat Facebook all of that all, all, all of that and I will catch y'all on the next one until then my brother my sister please you want long hair you want big hair you want voluptuous hair well to have healthy hair, you got to do healthy things consistently. Now if you feel checking out, deuces. <laughs> if I told you you were, if I told you you were, if I told you you were beautiful, beautiful. If I told you you were beautiful, beautiful. If I told you you were beautiful, beautiful. If I told you you were, if I told you you were, if I told you you were.